And I am pleased to welcome Trisha Miley to the show. So nice to see you. Thank you, Meredith. It feels good to be here. Yeah, you know, when I told friends that we would be sitting down together 20 years after what happened to you, they were shocked at how much time has gone by. Is it even hard for you to absorb, or is it more something that you just live every day? Well, it's a little bit of both, because obviously I do live it every day. But 20 years is a long time. But um, I'm just so glad to say that I'm... I'm happy and healthy, and I feel stronger than I ever have. No residual effects, physical effects from what happened to you. Uh, no, I can't. I can't say that. I, I have, you know, residual physical and yeah. and cognitive deficits, but they're very, very subtle, and I'm so fortunate for that. You know, your head injuries, the injuries that you sustained that day, that evening, were so severe that uh, you you have no memory of what happened and never will. Is that something that you regret at all, or is it better that way? You know, it's a little bit of a little yeah. bit of both. It's not black and white. On the one hand, sometimes I get frustrated and wish I did remember, and it would clear up all the controversy about the case that, you know, that re really does bother me. On the other hand, you know, as a result of having no memory, I also don't have flashbacks or or nightmares, and I feel blessed because of that. You know, in 2003, you revealed your identity to the public. You wrote a book that I am the Central Park Jogger, a story of hope and possibility. You've also become a motivational speaker trying to help others. What is the message, Trisha, that you're trying to get out to people? You know, a message I, mean, I speak to groups all around the country, all different kinds of groups, and, you know, to let people know that whatever challenge they're facing, that we can do so much more than we ever thought possible. That by focusing on what we can do right now in this moment, rather than getting caught up in what's happened, a past we can't change, or worrying about the future, we can move forward. You know, you have said that your story is not the story of an attack, but rather one of healing. And I know most people would not begrudge you if you had a lot of anger and bitterness about what happened, but you don't. Where did that go? Well, you know, sure, I, I was angry, and, and especially for all the turmoil that my, you know, because that my family had to go through, but I received such inc an incredible amount of support, and the power of that you know, loving care and support was stronger than, you know, than the power of the violence that night. And that's what's helped me to push forward. And that's what I, or why I encourage people wherever I go, to reach out to people in any way that feels right, because it does make a difference. You know, you've had an extraordinary level of violence in your life and also an extraordinary level of human kindness, right. which has impacted more on shaping the way you are today, who oh, you are. Oh, clearly, clearly the, the, the human kindness. Um, no question about it. All right, Trisha Miley, thank you so much. Such a pleasure Th to you. meet you. We'll be back after your local news and weather.